G'day and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Farming Simulator 22 How To Series. Today we are looking at grape farming. Today we're going to cover all the equipment, the implements and the process of going through and doing grape farming on this new release of Farming Simulator. Alright, let's get straight into it. So, in front of us here we have all the equipment we need to conduct our grape harvest um, and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do first though is I'm going to go into the shop and I'm going to show you the information we need or the all the implements we need. Uh, and I'm going to use the packs section of the, the shop, um, which something's been added in for this new version of the game. So we need uh, a tractor, or in particular Landini's, uh, because they're so narrow they can actually work in between the vines. Uh, we've got New Holland Broad 9070 Grape Harvester. We've got a Provitus uh, Pruner used to prune the vines after a harvest ready for the next cycle we have a hardy mercury 4000 litre sprayer Furman mrwk 6000 trailer which is the smallest of three different sizes we then have a tmc cancella tpn 140 mulcher and an agrisome discovine v or five uh, subsoiler and that is all we basically need to do our grapes right so let's head back out of here now, as you can see, I've got some grapevines here ready to go. However, that's not how it all starts. What you need to do when you're setting up your uh, vineyard is you need to actually extend out and plant, um, sorry, lay out your vineyard. You don't automatically just get the grapes appear like this. So how do we do that? Well, again, we go into the shop, we go down to other, then we go to construction. And in the construction area here, we come over and we select the production orchards. Then we've got two options. We've either got the grapes or we've got the olives. So the olives and the grapes is going to be very similar to how you set things up. Anyway, with the grapes, what we're going to do is we're going to select the grapes. And we come out to our field. We want to apply them. And then basically put our first pole or peg in. And then we just drag and drop all the way down. And when we right click, we'll complete that row. If we don't... Uh, it again or uh, release with the right mouse button um, it'll just extend out and be continued on it like with the fences and all that sort of stuff um, so if we right click though it breaks that and then we can put another row in like that so again we just come up run it down and do it there now there's seemingly no tool or anything that actually shows you the minimum uh, distance between or anything else like that um, it's just basically by eye. But anyway, uh, that seems to be okay. Now, because of the state of the ground is in harvest, we've automatically got grapes on the on the vines. That's not always the case. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, for the moment, that's exactly what we've got. So, that's it. So, that's how you put down your, your vines. Now, we need to go through and talk about everything else that happens with it. So... Uh, we have the pruner. Now, this is the part we do after the last harvest uh, and before we actually are going to go through and get a harvest back up again. Now, I've got a row of grapes over there that I've already harvested that is now in the state ready to be pruned. So we're going to go over and I'm going to show you exactly what we do with that. So, obviously we're doing this in January with a little bit of snowfall, but that's okay. It's not going to affect us too much. So we're just going to fly over here. All right, now you'll notice the difference in the vines. So this set of vines here has got orange leaves on it, as opposed to the green vines with the uh, grapes hanging off it or the others. So this one needs to be pruned. So we're gonna unfold the pruner. As you can see it unfolds it like that. And then gonna activate the pruner. And then all we do is basically this will automatically sort of align itself to the the vines and then we just drive through and it will prune all those old leaves off the vines clear it all out and then it's ready to regrow ready for the next harvest nice and simple now there's no point doing it when the vines are green because it doesn't have any effect on it as you can see it will automatically adjust for where you are you just need to be relatively close to the vines and there we have it all right, I'll just do that. Just this roll as well, just for the hell of it. 
it's nice and simple. So that's that's how we prune the vines and prep ready for the next cycle of production. Alright, we're going to fold that back up again now. So, so this this here, this row here is what I've, I pruned previously in a previous attempt at doing the video, uh, and it started to regrow. So you can see the vines have started to regenerate and grow through there. Right, let's go back over here. We'll park this. Put this away. All right, there we go. Okay. So next we're going to do we're going to have a look at prepping the ground um, now I'm I have a bit of a hit and miss with this sometimes but um, we're going to give it a go and see what happens right there's two elements to this there's the mulcher and then there's the plow so let's just see what we can get working right so I'm going to go with the mulcher first so we're just going to uh, activate and lower doesn't look like it's actually doing it. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's, it's mulching. So it's mulching away all the excess material there. Which is excellent. So that's our first stage. We mulch all the grass away. Like so. And then we then need to also plough it in. And come back on the reverse. We're going to switch to our rear tool, lower, and now we provide the ploughing through here. And this helps just to make basically make sure we've got good growth, all that sort of good stuff. And you can see we've got the different um, the different soil. So each side of the uh, vine there. But if I was to have the other side without the mulcher, I don't know what that'll do. Right. Line ourselves up. And you can see it's not doing too much there. Come over this side. Anyway, you get the idea of that one. All right. So next we're going to come over and we're going to grab the fertilizer. So we'd need to fertilize uh, the vines, but there's no point putting fertilizer just straight on the ground. <clears throat> we need to fertilize the actual plants themselves, the vines. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the hardy sprayer, which we've got just here. Now you'll notice that this is a little bit different to our normal sprayers. It hasn't got any pipe work or anything on it. What it does actually is a cylindrical outlet there. And as it forces the spray out through these nozzles out here, and it basically gives you uh, an arc or like a rainbow shape, effectively a, a, a semicircle, uh, and sprays all the uh, the vineyard from there. All right, let's go and give it a go. All right, so no different to any other sprayer. We're just going to come up to here, and we're just going to activate. And there we go, we're now spraying our fertilizer. Nice and simple. Right. And it's just as simple as that. That's that's the uh, applying the fertilizer. 
And the next step we need to look at is the actual harvesting of our grapes. And for that we're going to use the New Holland. But what I want to do first, I just want to uh, take our trailer here. Put this in position. Ready for us to offload. I'm just going to position him here like this. That'll be fine. Okay. All right. Now we're going to grab the harvester itself. And we're going to harvest this row here directly in front of us. And see how things go. So what we do, uh, I think I've already got it in the unfolded position, which I do. But in the unfolded position, it sits a bit lower. Uh, sorry, in the folded position, I should say. It sits a bit lower. We'll then unfold, raises that and what we do is we come and line ourselves up with our vine in the yard our run that we're actually going to be harvesting right down the guts of the machine about there should be fine we're then going to activate and you can see the jaws going through there and the shaking mechanism in the middle that's how it grabs the grapes off the vines and then off we go, we're going to harvest. And as you can see now, the bottom right hand side, we've already got 50 litres of grapes harvested. So that's, as, that's all there is to it. Now, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't tried. Okay, let's try that. Uh, no, it just took us straight in the menu. It doesn't like. Uh, whoops. Um, doesn't like a helper. So I don't know if we'd actually be able to use an AI worker on the grapevines. Um, something I must try a little bit later, see if I can muck about with that. Certainly, as far as I'm aware at the moment, uh, you have to do this all manually. Or do it on multiplayer and get some other friends to do it and see what you're doing it if you don't want to do it. All right. That's our harvest, nice and simple. So that's all you have to do for the harvester. Right, now offloading, basically all we do is reverse up to our trailer, like so, and then we'll get the unload tag, there we go there, and then we can just offload both hoppers on the left and right hand side, we'll just empty out, and that's it. And there we go. That is a very short and brief explanation of our great farming for Farming Simulator 22. I hope that was useful to you and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press that like button. And also, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing and press that alarm notification icon. In any case, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon back here at Ducks of the Gaming and Simulator Farming Simulator 22. See you all later. Bye.